So how are the loans dispersed to the school? First, you need to complete FAFSA to determine if you qualify for federal student loans. Then you have to accept them with the student login, as these loans will be in the student name, not parent. Next, you will need to complete entrance counseling, which basically ensures that you fully comprehend the terms and condition of your loan, learn what the loan entails, how interest works, available repayment option, and how to avoid delinquency and default. After completing the entrance counseling, you will be required to sign the master promissory note. It is a legally binding document in which you make promise to repay these loans, including any accrued interest and fees. Only after completing all these steps, the funds will be dispersed directly to your school. Schools follow a specific order when applying dispersed loan funds to the cost of attendance. The funds are first applied towards tuition and fees. If the student will be living on campus, then room and board expenses are covered. And only if there's any money left, the school will return the access funds to the student. Thanks so much for watching. 